everyone. Sorry I couldn't be here. Surprise! Little video for you guys. I'm going to start talking about the three of the six um, market strategies. First one we're going to start out with is emerging markets. The textbook definition is startup enterprises that are busily engaged in perfecting technology, gearing up operations, broadening distribution, and gaining buyer acceptance. Now what do you need to know about an emerging market? So number one characteristic is that there are no rules. There is so much freedom to experiment. There's no historical pricing. It makes it difficult because you can have a variety of strategies to get your product out there to be seen. There are two different strategy, basic strategy types, competitive and broad or focused differentiation. Competitive strategies are key to low cost or differentiation and broad or focused strategies are key to technology or product superiority. Now, what are additional strategy elements to put into those two? You have to look into innovation. Innovation by perfecting technology, improving product quality, and developing performance features. Out innovating the competition is the most integral part of the strategy and the best way to compete with other emerging companies. The second is to adopt technology. Adopt it quickly and be the first and perfect it. Next is mergers and acquisitions. Consider merging or acquiring other firms to gain expertise and additional resources. Alliances. Form alliances with other companies that have that related complementary experience. New groups. All customers are first time buyers in emerging markets. Remember when Apple's first generation iPad, iPod came out? We all had it, and there's been like 10 generations since. Introduce initial purchase and help customers overcome concerns about the product features, the performance reliability, and conflicting claims. Make it attractive to buyers. Make it cheap and easy to get to. It's a first generation product. You want everyone to purchase it and continue purchasing it. The advertising shift. As the product becomes familiar, shift the advertising emphasis from creating product awareness to increasing frequency and use and build brand loyalty. And lastly, price cuts. Use price cuts to attract the most sensitive of buyers into the market. Next, I'm going to talk about the four strategic hurdles in emerging markets. The first one is capital. The hardest part of an emerging company is raising the capital to finance initial operations. The next is development. Developing a strategic plan and a strategy to ride the wave of industry growth. The third is management. Managing the rapid expansion of facilities and sales in a manner that positions the industry to grow. And lastly, defending. You want to defend the competition. You want to defend yourself against the competition and horn on in the success. The next thing to look at are the three strategic powers. The first is the power of the board of directors. The board of directors, you want to select knowledgeable members who are there for their expertise in management. The next is strategic management. A firm that develops solid resource capabilities and can build an appealing business model, a good strategy, can shape the rules and be the recognized front run runner in the emerging market. And lastly, you want a long-term strategy. The strategies of early leaders must be aimed at competing for the long haul. If you want to make it in this market, you have to develop resources, capabilities that will sustain the early success. Next, I'm going to talk about rapidly growing markets. In a fast growing market, a company needs a strategy predicted on growing faster than the market average. And there are five. There are five strategies to incorporate in these elements. The first is decreased cost per unit. 
Driving unit costs down enable price reductions that attract new customers. But since rivals can lower their prices a lot, a company must really be able to drive its unit's costs down faster than most. Customers are price sensitive and lower prices can help push buyer demand. The next is innovation. Pursuing rapid production and innovating the technology, the performance features, and the attributes that appeal to the new customers. Next is distribution. Gaining access to distribution channels in, sale, in sales outlets. Expansion. Geogra geographic coverage, whether it's in-state, in the United States, and internationally. And options. Expanding the product line. Add models and styles that appeal to a wider variety. The next market I'm going to talk about is slow growth or mature markets. They are where nearly all potential buyers already are in use of the industry's product. How do you keep, how do you keep sales going in a slow growth market? You need, the first step is to prune marginal products and models. What does that mean to you? It means cutting all those models that you created in the previous market. It means using the models that were great sellers in increasing on that. Once you decrease your selection of, of products, you get, can you pause that a second? We can just edit it out. Can you? Yeah. Okay. All right. Pruning marginal products has competitive value during the growth stage, but variety can become costly later on when trying to maintain product versions. Design, parts, inventory, and produ production. Eliminating the slow selling ver versions of a product open the door for cost savings and permits more concentration on the items that are producing a profit for your organization. The second is improving value chain efficiency. Improve labor efficiency, improve line efficiency, build flexibility in your assembly programs. Payoffs include lower costs, better product or service quality, and greater capability to turn out multiple or customized product versions. Trimming costs. Push suppliers for better prices. Find competitors. Compete with other suppliers and bring it to your housing supplier and say, this is what I can get. Are you going to meet this or not? Implement tighter supply chain management. Cut low value activities out and develop better product design. Next is increasing sales to present customers. How do you do that when everyone already has the product? Really more sales promotions and providing complimentary items or services. Acquiring rival firms at, bar at bargain prices. Sometimes a firm can acquire a facilities and assets of a, of a struggling rival and that way the initial capital you need to build something is already there. You just have to purchase the company. Expand internationally. As its domestic market matures, a firm may seek to enter foreign markets where attractive growth potential still exists. Build new or more flexible capabilities. Strengthen the company's resource base and competitive capabilities by making products that are hard to in intimidate, imitate, or are adaptable to customer preferences. Those are the three market strategies I'm here to talk about. I'm going to leave you guys to the rest of the group in Billy and Kenta's presentation. Thanks. Do you want to um, try again just so we have more than one copy and we can mix them?